Well, hey everybody, it's Randy Kennard with Maine Wildlife Management. So as part of our log cabin series, uh, we're actually up on the, the roof of this house taking a look at these chimney flues. Now this particular chimney has a whole bunch of flues. And one thing, we can feel heat coming right out of this flue. Uh, now, the base of this flue actually had an old pizza oven uh, or some sort that, that was built into the fireplace. Um, it's not active now, but there's actually the residual heat from the house that the stones are absorbing, and then that radiant heat is being transferred through the flue tiles into this um, opening, into the flue, and then it's coming right up through. So essentially, uh, we'll put some, some of the thermal images in there. You can see the heat signature, just the warmth coming out, but essentially the house, heat in the house is just like sending pennies drift the house just constantly, like non-stop through the winter. Um, so we always recommend getting some type of cap over these. Um, if it's a if it's a in use uh, flu, there's going to be heat coming out of there anyway, because that's where your exhaust vents out. Uh, but in like this situation, there's several flues. We've already capped one of them off temporarily for now. Um, filled it with insulation. That way, from the top of the stones down to the roof deck, um, that whole cylinder, that whole area, is now filled with insulation so that there is no ability for the stones to absorb the cold and that for that cold air to sink down into the house. Now the stones absorbing the heat and cold kind of goes back and forth. There's going to be some of that regardless. Uh, but whatever we can do to, uh, one, get the animals out of this home, keep them out, uh, but also while we're at it, make it a little more energy efficient at the same time, we're going to. Um, so if you have unused flues, um, the best bet is going to be to fill them full of insulation and then cap them over properly. We're coming in November um, and our masons tied up for the rest of the fall. So for now we're doing some temporary work where we're going to be taking these uh, pieces of slate um, and silicone them down to the top of these unused flues so we can stop rainwater from getting in there. And then as soon as we can get back to it, we're going to... Uh, be fixing all these damaged flues. You see water's going down there. It's going to start degrading even more. Um, so this place needs some work. And even this, most of the time you don't find where bats are going down inside a flue because you get down there and it's slippery. But this kind of rough texture is plenty uh, for the wildlife to get onto. And it's also a fire hazard where creosote can build up on the edge of your flue. Um, so these things we found while doing the, our wildlife inspection and they need to get addressed. So that's it for this segment of flu tiles. Just want to give you guys a heads up on that, and I'll add in some of the photos, too, of, of our uh, thermal imaging so you can see them. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.